Okay, we're approaching the falls. We're at the tail end of the, the trail hike. And we're about to approach the really steep portion of the trip. Good flight, got some nice aero shots. I stayed safe, didn't crash to go for them. That's a, that is always a good thing. So this is behind the scenes, man. Behind the scenes, day and night music video shoot and we're briefly just going to touch on how we organized lit and filmed some of the shot scenes that you're going to see in the music video that's going to be releasing tomorrow whenever you fly a drone and you don't crash it that's a good that's a good day man it's a good day the intent here is not instructional based by any means we wanted to document the process and along the way i'll just be lightly touching on how we lit certain shot scenes different camera settings that i was using for these shot scenes and some of the dialogue that i had serving as the director on set with the producer talents and recording artists okay go ahead all you're gonna do is walk down there and that's it no smile just look up uh towards that that uh, bench right there, that plastic bench. Okay, and three, two, one, swing. We started the hike for day one pretty early. We started early off in the day. It was like eight in the morning and it was still hot as hell, man. It was still like blazing. We're all sweating. Good. It's really important for me as a director to stay as vocal as I can with the talents and the artists while I'm on set, as well as always reviewing the footage um, with the artists after each and every take. Right now we're gonna set up Steedy's solo joint. He's gonna turn up. One of his favorite colors is um, kind of like a purple theme. So uh, for this particular scene right here. Yeah, so we're going for a gold purple theme for here. Let's see what we can come up with. Day two went super smooth. I arrived in the evening. Uh, the plan was to kind of focus on Steedy. Steedy, I don't think, was able to make it for day three, for the day three shoot. And so Shimmy and Frankie, they kind of wanted to focus on Steedy for, uh, mostly for day two, just because he wasn't able to show up. Steedy's first close up at 50 millimeters. Okay, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you some leeway too, so you can, so, so you can roll into it. You can roll into it. I'm gonna film a shot, man, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Do what you need to do. I really wanted to capture him up close and so we stuck with the tighter focal lengths. My main focus after dialing in some of those purple colors within the background was to offset it with a complementary color and we chose goldish type of hue. Let's see what the artist is, uh, let's see what the artist is, they, oh there she go. What's up? Last day of the shoot. Oh What's good? God, what, you, so what you feeling like? What you feeling like? I'm pumped and ready to get it. So how many how many days did we how many days did we shoot? It was okay. So we did tomorrow, the that, studio yep. scene, mm. and then today. So it was three. Okay, let's do this. I'm excited. Sun, rain, rain, sleet, or shine. We gonna get it done. Set up for the car scene. Look at that. Get it tight. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Getting set up for the biker the biker game to show up. I wanna make sure I capture the moment. So here we go. Okay, right, so let's get set up for this 60 FPS. The whole day, the entire day, the whole day was cloudy. I don't, till this day, I don't even know how we didn't get rained on, but it was so cloudy that I like, I don't even think I use an, I think I use an ND filter on like its lowest setting. I even stopped down to, I think it was 2.4 or 2.8. So I did wanna stop down just a little bit, just so my tracking movements allowed me to keep those artists um, and focus longer. But overall, the bike scene and the car scene went well. We shot B-roll for it. It was, it went flawless. Overall, everyone had fun. It was a great time. You know, there wasn't those awkward moments between between like the director and, and the talents on set, at least, <laughs> at least that I felt anyway. It's really a good moment when, when I can capture people feeling as natural as possible. I don't know why I shot with an iPhone. I, <laughs> I was just like, I I'm gonna shoot a performance take on, on my iPhone. I don't even know where it came from. But I did shoot in Filmic Pro uh, with the cine cinematographer pack. It, you know, it allows you to shoot in full manual and everything. So it does kind of spike up and, and jack your camera settings up a little bit. It shoots at a higher bit rate. And so, like I said, man, the, the iPhone footage, the, the footage coming out of the iPhone, it doesn't bother me. I just think it's really good to be flexible and to kind of test your boundaries in every element of filmmaking possible. You know, whenever this video drops, the very next day, you'll be able to see the music video. Make sure you check it out. Make sure you check out the artists. Tomorrow will be the release of the official uh, music video. So make sure you guys go and check it out.
6400 at 5600 so cool okay cool